Okay guys, as promised, good to the first uh, sort of commentary in the ride on the beta. Uh, we've got to our first uh, section of green lanes. Uh, it's going to be about four or five of them. And uh, yeah, it's just a circuit day. I'm, going, I'm not going to film any road work, that's boring. So we'll just film the, uh, the sections we're going up and uh, hopefully uh, not mess it up too much. Okay, bye for now. Okay, here we go. This first one, it comes in two sections. Um, the top section is a little bit harder, we hit some rocky sections, but uh, let's have a go. Nice and steady. Okay, that's the first section done. Um, no spinning up the back tyre. Nice and smooth. Now it's second gear. Um, most people stop here for a little breather. But uh, let's carry on. Low rev, keep the traction. The beta handled that really nicely. It is slick. Um, those uh, those rocks have certainly got some slime on, but uh, hooked up all right. So uh, let's stop for now and go to the next section. Okay, guys, this is the next section. Okay, so we're just coming to the woods here. Everything I'm riding on here is legal as well, um, which is great. Um, so let's go start off with the down section. Test suspension down here, so KTM can really hoof it down here. My suspension on the KTM was done by Julian Stevens, nose as onions, um, brilliant uh, setup on that bike. So this is quite soft suspension here, so we'll see what it's like going down the rocks here. Try and hit them as, you know, as my ability, as hard as I can. And then we go across a flat section, then down uh, the hill, uh, or whatever you want to call it, through the forest. We'll be coming back up that as well. So without further ado, let's get on with it. as hell last about a month ago we came down here but we will be coming back up it that's what it's all about I'll just show you some bits that we've got to hit when we come back up as well so underneath these leads is slick rock look at that 
and then we've got this lovely slight steps coming up there's a big one at the bottom then it hits the second one and a little third one coming down so we've got to come up that nice little drop off and be coming back up that nice 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 But the suspension's nice and plush, really. And with the, uh, the what's it, uh, system got the bars as well. It really takes the shock out. And the mitigator system, another drop off. Hey. Come down. There we go, this is a nice little drop off here. Whoa. Okay, I'm coming to like a little rock garden here, which is fun. I don't know what people have been doing, but Jesus, look at that trench coming up there. We obviously didn't want to come up through the, by the rocks, so come up by that trench, and that's a hell of a trench. <laughs> so, yeah, I like this section. Yep. It really tests you what ground clearance you've got on the bike. Then you got a nice drop off here, look. Oh, right, someone's put a bloody great boulder there. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. Getting around there. It almost feels trials like, you know, this bike. We've got the back there, take it around. Oh, nice. Yep. Drop off there. Get my line down that way. Nice, so I'm tied to this steep section here. I'm gonna go for the high bank, come on. And then drop it in. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so, that was that section there coming down. Okay, cut that. Cut that noise out now. The locals don't like us around here very much, so. We've got to screw the nut as it were. Keep the peace. Now there is a section we can go and have a look at. I call it the church. Then we'll go devil staircase and we'll go back. So we'll go and have a look at the church and start recording and I'll start when I get there. Okay, that was just literally a couple of minutes where I just came down that hill. This section here, not a lot of people like come up here. And uh, it's this really loose rock. Um, yeah, and then it gets bit technical when it gets to the top there's a couple of options very rarely do I clean it um, especially today I think it's really slick out there so let's give it a go let's see how the beater performs on this section here um, it's really going to show uh, um, its traction hopefully uh, when we get to that rock section up there and I have actually flipped out my KTM and it's done a full 360 in the air um up here um i have to be aware because i ride alone um so i'm out here on my own so i don't really want to be doing any getting any injuries really not when i'm out here on my own bloody trees in the face nice we've had a lot of rain lately so you can see it's worth washed down yeah, you can see where the rain's been washing it down. Let's get up on these pegs, on these moto pegs, nice and grippy. Choose my line. Okay, come on. Getting close to the rocky section now. Here we go. Alright. This is where it gets all rocky, you can see. And these rocks are slick, guys. Is that horrible one up there? So let's see what we can do, eh? Just one, light himself up. Okay. Always screw this up. Guess we could do a better job today. Nice. That is just. That's testament to the beater. It has gripped there. 
Just around the corner, we've got another surprise. Flip it round, come on. Look at that horrible rock section here. Oh, so Christ, there's a new line. Someone's made a new line. We normally go to the left. Let's cut the engine. We normally go to the left. And we got those rocks there. But I don't know what's been up here. But you can see that uh, another line's been created. There's a rock in front of it. It's first gear jobby. Let's have a go. Said it's not a workout, eh? <laughs> it is a workout, though. Yeah. What the hell's that? In the woods? In the woods, boys. No one can hear you scream. But something's going on up there. Anyway, let's get back down it. No rest for the wicked. Okay. Since I was going down it's worse than play coming up, I tell you. A new line, eh? You watch these front brakes on the beater, guys. They are super um, sensitive. The front brake, really grabby, powerful. Yeah. So this way, sometimes you just have to be a little bit cautious riding your own when you're out here. But it's bloody good fun, isn't it? And it uh, definitely gets the heart pumping, boys. Get off there, get down on it, come on. Oh, that's a clank in there. Oh, the rocks. Get out, boy. Get a dabbing. Get a dabbing. Loose rocks. Hopefully you're going to like the next section. Stop recording and start when we get to the next one. Okay, so this uh, route, I think it's, I've always called it Devil Staircase. We can see, I think some bikes have come down here today. Um, it's a couple of real cheeky sections in here where grip is paramount and less is definitely more. Yeah, um, there's a nice log to start off with. We get around the corner, there's about three, four, five little rock steps with roots in there as well. You get stuck in the root. 
and can be a real bugger a big rock to get round and then we a bit more rocks and then we get to the top middle section where we basically catch our breath and go for the next section so without further ado let's get it on second gear Okay, so we've got some nice rocks to start off with the trees in the face again. Let's go up here, there's rocks. There's a nice one that pushes you off here. There you go. It's pushing you off. Fucking clutch, I hate it. The diva, that is. What have they done here? Over there. What have they done there? I put those pegs. Yep. So here we go. All right. So this bit here can be. This bit here could be a bit naughty. Be a bit naughty so uh what's it um it's not really it's, it's about momentum really um you just gotta keep the not keep the power on but just keep it rolling so um what are we doing when we do this first or second i can't remember let's have a go <laughs> There she is! Right, that was a naughty bit done. Quick to show you. Ugh. Steady beats. And the Italian tell me stop calling it beater. It's better. So that's it there coming up. Stay the bike. Yeah. So a bit cheeky. Up these rocks. Some steps there. Nice roots. Then up. And then you've got to uh, get these round on these rocks here. And then uh, a couple four more rocks. It's all about the rocks. It's all about the rocks, mate. And this is where you can get trapped as well. So it's a bit tight getting your bike around there. So I try and high and ah. Try to get the foot wheel on that. Nice, nice, nice. There's another one ahead. You do a bit of on that seat. Hopefully. There we go. Good beat. Uh, better, better, better. Yeah. section there when we're out with the boys that little steep bit where it's almost vertical uh, we have a play on that now and again just literally off to the side track but yeah Whew. I'll uh, just catch my breath and we'll start again okay guys this is the next section so we've got this rocky section here it's all about the rocks and then we're gonna hit a bend and on that bend is a bloody great boulder well, there's about three of them and it gets super slick on that and you need to be uh you need a bit of bit of luck sometimes yeah got to use the force yeah um but we'll see how we get on so far the beat has been great guys it's just hooks up it just hooks up it just gives you traction 
and, and, it, and it's so lightweight as well as you can when it starts to go a bit off piece you like it's gonna bit peak tongue yeah you can literally go right get you back um, plus the seat height oh my god I have got both feet flat on the ground yeah that's just never gonna happen on the KTM standard apart from the seat I've got which is not really a seat it's so cut down it's unbelievable I can get one foot down on this I've got two feet down which is amazing so let's go let's do it go on better 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 Italiano bella 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 here we go on the peg get to his foot shoot the line and let's go Just on that bit there. Okay. Told you. Slick. Slick man. Then the next bit is up and uh, around this baby. There's one advantage of riding your own is that when you get stuck like that, there ain't nobody, nobody is going to help you get you up there. You've got to get learn how to rock that bike forward, look at where you're getting traction, you're not getting traction, and get yourself out of it. Yeah, I've been pinned under the bike, just thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna get from underneath here. So, I don't advise, advise everybody to go ride on their own, but there's another advantage. I do like riding, I'm not antisocial. Some people say, oh, but I'm not, honestly, I'm a nice guy. But I do spend a lot of time getting other people's bikes up, which I do not mind. But it's not a competition. We're all out here to have fun. And uh, sometimes there's a bit too much testosterone and egos. Leave that at home. You know, if the guy's struggling, help him out. Yeah, you know, it's, I think it's great when a guy says, I can't, I can't get there. I say to him, I think you can, man. But if you don't want to, don't worry about it. You bought that bike for your enjoyment, not mine. But when they do get up, I'm like, so happy for them. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe that's the soft side of a little bit of me. But I just think, you know, if you've got an ego, go racing. If you want to come out and enjoy the trails, have some fun, be kind to each other, not be a dick, yeah? And that's the way to do it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, 
let's get to the next one. I'm not going to keep recording. Let's get to the downhill section. Let's go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, baby! I'm a silver lot follows from the United States across the pond, and thank you for subscribing. So I know that Peter is well popular in the United States. Tells you why we've got number plates here because it's naughty. Okay, nice up on the pegs. Hey, squirrels! Whoa, concentrating the, the track, not the squirrel. Yeah, I do like my downhills. I do like them. They are quite crashed up. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I do like them. Out of that one. Okay, we've got another little trail. No, no. It's so tempting to go screaming down this trail, but don't. Okay, you guys, know this trail. A lot of dog walkers. And you know what? Like I said, we've got to keep the peace. They all fucking hate us anyway. They all hate us. So, be kind, be nice, be the good guy. So we're back where we started, here we are. Okay. Be is so excited it won't stop. <laughs> so it's point now it's over here. It basically says, um, please don't ride up here. Can you only ride down it? Yeah. 
that kind of defeats the object yeah so i do like this trail as you sit this section as you see and it's nice and rocky the rocks aren't too loose yeah it's just a lot of leaves on the ground yeah this back tire i'm still using this is the mitis ice uh, it's still gripping up well i'm running about four to five psi in my luchioli tube um i do like my luchioli tube and um, i'm running a moose on the front yeah with a standard tire that came with the the better um, which is just an all-round enduro tire and it's it's turned out to be okay yeah um so yeah i'll try and run something nice and soft here you know i've seen guys running 12 psi in the window why they're not going anywhere um i wouldn't want them in 12 psi i probably won't go anywhere on 12 psi so just drop that um level on the back try and get some traction yeah it's all about traction and uh getting up these uh, sections so yo 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 let's without further ado let's do the first section and then let's stop i do a nice loop pivot turn yeah uh, halfway through i've learned to do them by watching the irtc guy um yep i just watched him for hours i went and spent like three hours just in a section just practicing over and over and over again and uh, the beater makes it so much easier because i actually put my foot on the floor because i am challenged in the height department as you know so Come on, better. We don't go second, Peter. There, sorry. Come on. Up the section here. Come on, now. That's it. Nice. And this bit through there. So you can just pick and choose where you want to go on this bike. You want to come through here, really? I did. I chose that. I stop, tipped up to there, got the plates nice and steep, and the beat and fork on the peg, goes up nicely, yep, now this is an horrible step, you get it off, just throws you up, that's horrible rock there, yeah, but oh, I've got to give it a go and I, got to, it's a law, Yes! So yeah, if I don't give things a go, how am I going to get any better? I'm not, am I? So you could go to the trench. Um, that's a deep trench. I don't really want to go up it. Let's see if we can find a better route. Need to chuck this bike around nicely. Hopefully, I can then just go. Oh, yes! I prefer the. Oh, Jesus! Ah, what's on that? It's like blue paint or some shit. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. So, what we've got to do here? Now there's that route there. And straight up! Oh, she likes it. He likes it. The beat is not it. Okay. So that was a rock garden. And yeah. She's, the bike just hooks up, man. Yeah, this gripper seat. The gripper seat. Is. Is a. It should be against the law not to have a gripper seat. This holds you in the bike. The standard seat, it's like right on ice. Yep. Um, this really, this holds you there. This is a new one. It's got these lovely white stripes on it. Um, it's not about the blink, Pete. But yeah, it holds you in that seat. So next section we've got, guys, is the, um, going with these, what we came down. And you could hear it hitting the bash guard, so some nice steps. Um, what I can say, I haven't adjusted the suspension yet. 
Uh, and I should people say, oh, you've got city sag. Yes, you are 100% right. I should set my sag. Yes. However, I've also been told let the suspension bed itself in for a bit. Normally five hours. Let the suspension bed itself in, then set it up. Yeah. Um, because everything's like all springs, everything all getting bedded in. Yes. So uh, yeah, that's why I haven't done it yet. But after this ride, I will be setting my sag, everything like that. Uh, and just uh, get the suspension to set up for what I like it. Maybe drop the forks through the yokes, a couple of mil, speed up speed steering. It will become a bit more twitchy. However, we all know speed up steering, there's always a trade off for everything. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get going. Up, 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 and away. Let's go, let's go, gentlemen. That sent me right off. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Get your shit together. I went to the left and it sent me flying to the right. Oh well, that is life. Right, let's step here. Okay, fine, fine. And I did say I would not edit, but like I said, you got to crash. I mean, crash is part of it, isn't it? You know, be a bit boring. We went. Oh, I don't want to do that. I might scratch my new bike. But yeah, okay. Just get it done. That's what they're built for. So anyway. Nice one, Beater. Yeah, definitely made the right choice. However, my KTM is sat in the garage, a bit pissed off at me. So like, oh, you got a new girlfriend now, yeah? You got the Beater, You're not taking me out anymore. Don't worry, Mr. Katoom. We'll be going out and I'll be showing you off to all the subscribers, all the new bits we've got on us. So stop whining. Anyway, I've got a little surprise for you. So, Whenever you do your ride on a Sunday, what's the best way to finish the ride? We'll have a look in a minute. Okay, you just uh, gonna...
within one mile of each other, yeah? It's got to be quiet here, this lady, I'm going to keep her happy. All legal. All within one and a half, two miles of each other. Yeah, hardly any road work. I hate road work. Here we go, step. I hate road work. I hate it with passion. Here we go, some guys are coming. Cool. Here we go. Ah, look at these guys. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Okay. See, look how friendly we are. was that section so I'm gonna take us off to one little other section and let's go and have a look at that Lots of hauling arse. Hauling arse, I'd say. So here we go, we've got some people walking their dog. Let's screw the nut. Pull over here and let them through. So that was uh, an introduction to the ride and the beta and how it performs in the area. And as you can see, I'm standing behind here, it's what commonly known as the Great British Pub. Yeah, this is Redbrook. Please, if you come down here, don't freaking wheelie over the bridge. It gives us a bad name. However, my little surprise is this. It's a proper pint of beer. Commonly known as Butty Back. Now to everybody across the pond watching this, unfortunately it is flat, warm beer that tastes fantastic. And Butty Back in Welsh generally means my little friend. So I'm going to join my little friend here and I'll see you when I get back to the garage after washing the bike. Cheers for now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's trail ride. <clears throat> it was fun, I really enjoyed it. Still a bit buzzing from it. Um, however, just something to look forward to for the future. We're gonna have hopefully a interview with Sam from SMX uh, next week. Got to confirm with him yet? 
so I don't want to make any promises, but that's what I like to do. And then Sam runs like enduro tours from different levels, from like beginner, intermediate, expert, etc. So we're going to hopefully go on one of those tours and see that. And then also on top of that, we've still got the KTM to have a look at and all the uh, modifications we've done. But today was a great day and the sun is shining and this, I think spring is on its way. Um, but yeah, they'll better, they're great today and it's sort of an enjoyable to ride. All right, so thanks guys. Like and subscribe and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Thanks, bye.